A group of Azerbaijani volunteers translators has launched the project Info Karabakh due to the fact that during the fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh, some international TV channels and news agencies circulated the inaccurate and distorted information about the Armenian-Azerbaijani Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. The main goal of the project is to disseminate the truth about the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, the Armenian occupation and aggression against Azerbaijan to the international community. According to project manager for Hajiyev, they are trying to be useful for the government in the information war. In this moment, we information warfare during the attack on Shar. Some positions were lost. We noticed that we were losing in some positions in the information war and wanted to expand our activity. Therefore, we needed more information and people who know foreign languages. Even though we could get the official information from the website of the Ministry of Defense, there was a need for translators. After one post on the social network, hundreds of translators applied as volunteers. Currently, we have more than 100 volunteers translators and we are doing translations into over 25 languages. First, we were planning to offer people payment for their translations. Nevertheless, the volunteers' translators rejected it and told us that they were ready to help without any payment, said Fuad Hajiyev. He also noted that they sent the translated information to international news agencies and TV channels, such as The Guardian, Euronews, CNN, BBC, and many others. According to him, they also share information in Armenian in order to let the Armenian society know the truth about the current situation on the front line. First, we found a group of volunteers via social networks. We have created a group and a page on Facebook. With the help of this group, we have delivered the official information to the translators. They have translated the information into more than 25 languages and sent it back to us. Baygaliyev said that the volunteers work on translations from home as well. He said that all interested people could contact them via Facebook and email. Currently, we are keeping good relations with international media. They publish the information delivered by us on their websites. In order to carry out our mission properly, we would like to ask people who have close connections with international mass media to join and help us on this issue. According to the coordinators, by the end of the next week, they will be able to provide the world community with sufficient information about the true gist of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Rena Agaeva, Khayala Garaeva, Rufat Alekbarov, CBC.